I invite you to grab your candles and your matches or lighters. Um, we want to light our candle to remind us that Christ is among us and the Spirit lives within us so that no matter where we are, God is present to us. So let us light our candle together and then we'll have a few moments of silence to allow ourselves to remember that we are held in the presence of God today. So let's light our candles. And let us be silent together. Let us be, uh, receive God's greeting to us this morning. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And everyone says, Amen. At this time, we usually greet one another. So I invite you, whether you are alone or with others, to greet one another in the room and then to take a moment to think about who you normally sit around and to greet one another through sending a text or giving a phone call or sending an email. Um, and then we will sing together. And so we worship. We worship our God in all of the things that we do in our lives and especially in this time that we set aside for worship to recognize that he is our God. We do so recognizing most of all that we are his claimed in our baptism. Sisters and brothers in Christ, we are united by a common faith in Christ Jesus. The power at work in this community does not come for our own strength, but from God's spirit working within us and through us. We remember again God's gracious love for us, and we recommit ourselves together to living for Christ. Let's pray. We give you thanks, eternal God, for you nourish and sustain all living things by the gift of water. And we praise you for sending Jesus, your son, who was for us baptized in the waters of the Jordan and anointed as the Christ by your Holy Spirit. And through the baptism of his death and resurrection, you set us free from the bondage of sin and death and give us cleansing and rebirth. Through it, we are reborn by the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Amen. <laughs>